Hello everyone, and what a great start we've got off to. I cannot believe it actually, we're only probably a kilometer away from Jamie. I saw her with her herd of elephants not far behind us, and Viam and I saw some vehicles up in this direction, and lo and behold, when we got here, there's this incredible pride of lions. So we've literally just arrived. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Scott. It's so good to be back. And to be honest, I cannot believe I'm sitting here in the Maasai Mara with all of you guys joining. And the first animal I get to show you is one of the most iconic species of the Mara, the lion. I'm guessing this could be some members of the Angama pride, just judging from where we are at the moment. But I only got into town two days ago, so there's a lot I need to learn. And I'm, look forward, I'm looking forward to experiencing the journey of learning who all these animals are and all the intricacies of this incredible place that we are so fortunate to be able to explore. As you can see, the bellies are swaying from side to side, indicating that they probably had a successful night out. And now they could be heading in search of water or possibly some shade. Hello, Wendy. You would like to know how it feels to be back. And to be honest, it feels like I'm in a bit of a dream, Wendy. I cannot believe we are here. And I'm so impressed with the Safari Live crew for making this all happen. The guys have been working very long hours to get everything up and running here. And now we get to enjoy the spoils of all the hard work. I'm not sure if any of you managed to count those younger cubs. I think I saw about five. Let's try and work out now how many there are. So it's one lioness in the front and then Another one behind, so that's two, and that's the first little cub. Three, four, five, six, seven. Can you believe it? And there's even one more lagging behind at the back. So eight little cubs. They look to be about three or four months old, roughly. And three beautiful big lioness. Look at that view. So I've just heard that there should be about 10 of these cubs in total, but I only managed to count eight. It could be that my abacus is a bit faulty. Okay, and VM's just helped out by saying that some of the cubs are quite a lot smaller. And I did forget to mention that it is VM on camera. Great to be teamed up with him again. We've spent many hours together in the bush trying to capture beautiful moments like this. Well, what a playground we're in. What a good start we've got off to. It's not sh it appears that these lionesses are not too sure what they actually would like to do. Let me scoot forward a bit and see if we can't get a view down this little gully that they're in. See if they're not trying to actually find something to drink, which could well be the case. If they had a big meal last night, just like us, it's quite useful to be able to wash down a big meal with some liquids. Quite a few vehicles have already come onto the scene here. And we need to be grateful for that because if it wasn't for them, we would have not been led to this area and the beautiful sighting of these lions. As you can see, it's quite a deep gully now that we've pulled alongside it. And isn't it fascinating how quickly those lions can disappear, although VM's done a good job to find another one. I'm guessing they could be in search of water. It was one lioness that definitely jumped down into that gully, it appeared. Well, who knows, maybe they're simply wanting to cross. 
You can see she's trying to calculate her path to negotiate down into the gully, and it evidently doesn't seem too easy.